Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on Magic from the, Sandy, from the 2015 San Diego Comic Con exclusive Doctor Strange set. So I'll go ahead and do a quick little 360 of her. And I'll go ahead and check out the details. Alright guys, so first we'll go ahead and check out our weapons. So her first sword, she has this longer sword, which is kind of skinnier. Um, let's see if I can get the camera to adjust so you guys can kind of see the details. There we go. So you can kind of see it's just got this nice uh, silver paint on the tip of the blade. And then on the handle it's got these nice little sculpts of the grip. And it's just painted black. It does have some paint chipping. It just came out of that way out of the package. Kind of, well, at least you can just flip it over, right? But overall, I mean, it's a cool looking sword. And then the other sword is a little bigger. But ah, there we go. As you guys can see. I really like this one. You can kind of see there's got some blue actually kind of in the plastic, but it is kind of translucent. You can see my hand kind of through it, but it looks really cool at that angle with the light. You can kind of see that blue kind of through it. it looks pretty sick. But this is all nicely sculpted on with black paint painted in there. I really like how the handle looks. It kind of reminds me of like a Final Fantasy sword, <laughs> but you can see the nice wraps of the grip. Really cool sword. All right, so now I'll go ahead and get into magic. So looking at her up close, I think she has an awesome head sculpt. It's really cool. Great great flesh tone. I really like the black paint around her eyes. It came out really clean. I like the white pearlescent paint in her eyes. And the red lipstick. I think it looks just really cool. Going over her hair. She's got that blonde, but she does have some of the yellow paint um, painted over it to give it some more detail. I really like how this looks too on the top, how that comes out. I think that looks really cool. Then going to the rest of the figure, um, still maintains that nice, you know, flesh tone, which is nice how it matches. And then it's just black over here, but it's nice sculpted detail. You can see like some of the rivets in her uh, top. Some more there. Get to kind of focus. There you go. And then um, going over the other part, you can see a nice little red X painted on nice and clean. Let me see if I can adjust the light. One second. All right, guys, sorry, I hope that's a little better. But anyway, you can kind of see like, the rivets on her suit. You can kind of see the kind of stitching. I think that looks really cool. Going along the arm again, you can see the red X. I think that turned out very clean. And I like how even that flesh tone painted on here on this arm, I think it, it matches decently. And uh, going on the rest of the arm, you can see her gloves. It does have a little black of a black line on here. It's kind of too bad, but not too big of a deal. This arm looks sick. Again, this, guy, this is just from the packaging it just kind of scrapes off that redness but um, I really like the pitted look just all the sculpting detail the cracking and just the whole painted you know silverish kind of it looks almost you know really looks like real metal I think it looks really cool I like the spikes I think like the hand you can see more uh, detail on the knuckles it's really cool really cool looking arm all the way around just looks sick then going over the belt, the belt looks nice. It just slides up and down, but it's got a nice uh, silver paint applications. You can see the little thing, the little pin through the middle. But it looks really cool. And then going over the back, it kind of has a different uh, textured look. It looks like leather. And the rest of the figure just has that um, same flesh tone on the thighs or upper thighs. And it's just a uh, black bottom. Same thing with the rest of the legs, just that flat black. All right, so I'm going to go with the articulation. So her head looks left and right. You just got to kind of move her pieces of hair to get her to rotate. And then up, she cannot look up at all. It looks down just fine. Not too much, though. There you go. Her uh, left shoulder, her arms only move out about that far. This uh, spike kind of hinders the movement, whereas the right shoulder can move up very far. Uh, it moves back and forth. Um, has a hit one hinge joint at the elbow. Moves back up that much, about 90 degrees. Also rotates at the hinge. Uh, rotates at the wrist. Also can move up and down. Her ab crunch can't really crunch forward, can rotate, and it does slide back, you can see, but it does not go forward. Uh, she kicks forward, kicks to the side, got upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, uh, no, boot, no boot rotation, but her ankles move up, they're very tight, and they move down. Also has a nice uh, ankle rocker and peggles at the bottom of her feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Magic is. All right, guys, so Magic stands right up. I use the back of her head just about just under six and a half inches and then at the tips of those uh, little black I guess I don't know what to call those but anyway just a little over uh, five and a half inches if I said below yeah 
below five and a half inches. She's shorter, not below six and a half, I was thinking. Anyway, and then here she is next to Jubilee, which she shares the same body mold with. And also, why not? Spider Girl, same body mold. Just kind of showing you guys next to some of the other uh, smaller uh, female Marvel Legends we've gotten her with, or gotten with in the past. But there you go, guys. That's my review on Magic. Um, hope you liked it. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.